Yeah, this video is about how to do fluid rotation using angles, angle images. So let me show you the video real quick. So you see how the blocks are going to be rotating around and then the ball itself is going to be rotating around and it's going to rotate the the 9 to a 6 and even the glare on the ball is going to rotate around as well. And then when it falls below the screen it's going to end game Show it one more time, maybe it'll go a little. Okay, so this is how I did this. So with the box, it's just a roundish box, centered centered the um, cross hairs, modified it to precise. Then I did a create, then did the um, coded sheet under the control tab. And it's set to angle equals 180 plus 60. Rotate the sprint. It says image underscore angle equals angle. So this is basically going to rotate the square, roundish square around clockwise. And you have the step in there. Step. Now, with this statement here, I use if mouse underscore checks underscore button is released. Um, so I did this because um, that way you, the it's going to do it automatically. The computer is going to take over and rotate the box automatically. And I set the mouse to none because I don't want... Um, I don't want you to click the left or right mouse or the, the middle button and it's gonna the speeds gonna be at 3 you can change the speed to 10 or 1 if you want the box rotates slower or you want it to go fast change this to 10 or whatever and then the image underscore angle equals angle so it's just basically saying to the, um, the game that I want the the box to rotate on its own clockwise by itself I don't want to use a keyboard key. You could unchange this to like, um, if you didn't want a mouse button check, you could do an if statement for keyboard underscore like check pressed the key underscore left angle. And you can use either a minus or a plus. The minus goes one direction, the plus would go the other direction. So I could I could do a plus equals like six, and then you would want to grade this one out. So now when I press the left button on the keyboard, it's gonna rotate at six speed going counterclockwise. It should I got I got tap on the key to make it rotate the other direction, but I think you have to actually go into it. Not maybe not check press. Maybe this would have to be button. No. Uh, release maybe. I'm tapping on the left key button, but I want to actually hold down the left key button. I don't want to tap on it. Um, not sure what, which one to use for this. I think I thought it was mouse keyboard check button. I don't know what, what's direct. Okay, direct will do it. So if you hold down the left button on the keyboard 
it does it automatically without having to tap on the keys. Before I was tapping on the, key, the left key to make it move the square. I don't know why they get stuck there though, that's the only thing. I'm not sure why they get stuck. Because uh, the box is set to solid, and but the ball is not set to solid. But even when I made that solid before I did this video, it still didn't work. It still got stuck in the box for some reason. So, like I said, you could potentially have it set where you press, hold down a left key pressed or right key press. Make sure that says direct. That way you can just hold down the left or right buttons or whatever and it'll rotate the box. Uh, if you use the release or press for the keyboard, it's going to, you pretty much have to tap on the arrow button to make it rotate. So, um... If you don't want to, if you don't want to tap on the keyboard, you want to make sure that you set this to direct, and that when you hold down the left or right press or whatever button you want to use, it's going to do it automatically with just holding it down. But if you don't want to do it by the keyboard, then you want to use this statement here, which states that the computer is going to automatically do it, even though it said it's set up for mouse. It does say mouse mb underscore none. So if you change this to left. If you say MB underscore left or right key for the mouse, then it's going to, the computer's going to say you, if you choose one of these, um, any left, middle, or right, then you're going to have to use the mouse to um, control the, the block to move. But if you say none, then it's not going, it's not going to, it's, it's going to basically say to the computer, okay, the computer's going to take over and rotate it by itself. It's not going to require you to use the mouse to move the box. And this right this statement right here is main basically saying that okay make it rotate using the image angle. So there's only one image here and it doesn't it does not animate, it's just one image here. It does not animate at all. And you're using the image angle to make it move, rotate, much like the axe that I talked about in my other previous video where it, it rotated back and forth using the image angle. And then left pressed. Uh, I just did this if I want to destroy the box. You can destroy the box by pressing on the box and destroy the boxes. And then I have the same thing set up for the ball. It's going to rotate using the same information angle equals 180 plus 60. I'm not sure what this number represents. I think it's talking about the rotation, how how much rotation it's going to do on the ball or the box. So this information is the same as the box code. And then I have a gravity set here for the, the ball to drop down at 0.5. If you change this to 1, the, this can be, the, the gravity is going to be a lot heavier. It's going to go quicker fall quicker so 0.5 it makes it go slower and the speed is set to zero but the gravity makes it move then you have a step in there which I have the mouse set to none so you don't have to use the mouse to click on anything it's weird how that's set up but if you use anything besides none like any or left or press and you would have to use the mouse to move the ball but you set it to none so the computer takes over and I got a minus equals 4 speed image is going to make the ball um, rotate 180 degrees using the image angle and then you have this instep event here which um, is talking about the gravity here v speed plus equals m underscore gravity so this sets the variable so it's going to do the gravity at 0.5 which is going to 0.5 means it's going to go slow on the slower on the gravity if you did one two whatever then using a whole number then it would go a lot faster with the, the gravity then when the ball hits the box it's going to bounce make sure it's set to precise solid object and that's located in the move tab here bounce 
then when the ball goes outside the room, it's going to end game. And like I said, this was a nine, um, and it does rotate, and it turns into like a six on its own using an image angle. It's only there's only one image for the ball as well, and it's centered. The crosshairs are centered and modified to precise with just the circle here. Even the the glare rotates around too as well. So it's got it's kind of like a fluid image angle rotation. That's what it pretty much does. And it's all used by code. No no images are required except for one to do the animation of it rotating because you're using code to make it rotate. And which is which is good because you're saving space, you know. And time using code. And that's pretty much it on this, so You could try to apply that rotation with the the box on on you know like a moving platform or something. I was trying to do that last night on trying to use this rotation for a moving platform, but for some reason I wasn't able to get it to work correctly. But you could do it. You could use that rotate image rotation on anything else in the game you're, you're making or whatever. I'm sure there's something I'm missing on the moving platform that make it work correctly with the rotation of the the image. Alright, thanks for watching.